Pull your notes out. I need you to have this. I kept hearing this word. I need y'all to grab it, especially intercessors, because I need you praying into this. Uh, and this was a weird word for me, because it's not a churchy word. Hey, Josh. The word is embassy. I'm clear now. Embassy. E-M-B-A-S-S-Y. Write it down. Embassy. I'm teaching you kingdom. Embassy. 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 I want to teach you real fast. The embassy is the, is the place where in other countries, it's like the centralized headquarters. It's a hub. I'm trying to give you words that, that are non-political. Uh, it's a place where if America is in Brazil, they set up an embassy. And, in, and Brazil sets up an embassy in America. Watch this. Stay with me. Because we want to be involved in the affairs of that country. So every person that's in the embassy is actually representing America. I'm trying to go somewhere. Hold one second, Reverend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every person that's in that embassy represents America. So all of the individuals there are considered diplomats. What are they doing? They're doing uh, the affairs or the business or the interests of America. So they represent America while they're in that country. I'm going somewhere, Uncle Billy. Just look like you're paying attention to me. You look real good this morning. And I can hear it, embassy. So you have diplomats, and then you also have, and I'll teach more on this on Wednesday because I can't get it all because, you know, I want to make sure Jose stays with me. And then it's also ambassadors. Ambassadors, those that actually enter, uh, they actually have conversations and dialogue with political leaders. They have influence with political leaders. They have influence in economy and different things that are happening in that country because they're there on behalf of another country. <sighs> it's going to get good in a minute. And the Lord kept saying embassy to me. And I didn't understand, what's this word embassy? We've been trying to do church, but God's been looking for embassies. We are the church. We are the people. We just need an embassy. Watch this. Because we're not in our own country. Let's talk kingdom. You can't deal with kingdom unless you deal with land. We don't own this land, but we're actually ambassadors here. I can't hear nobody here. Old folks, you say, I'm just a pilgrim here traveling through. I'm a stranger. And listen, I ain't here for long, but while I'm here, I got to do my kingdom aside. And am I making sense to anybody? But since I'm not from this country, I live in this country, but I ain't from this country. I got to represent the country. Y'all miss everything I'm trying to tell you. If we are kingdom individuals, that means we must represent the kingdom of the government that's backing us. And I'll give you keys to the kingdom that whatsoever you bind in another country shall be bound in your kingdom. Y'all miss everything. So we're, we're assigned to be an embassy. So what God has been instructing us to do with this whole new building fund is not to build another church. It's to build an embassy. <laughs> when I finally got clear, I'm a little slow. I had to take, like, I had to study about 10 YouTubes. I had to look about 15 words online. Thank God for Google. But I'm clear now. Because the things we've been declaring are actually what an embassy does. If you're in another country and something happens with your passport, because you are not a citizen of that country, but you're a citizen of another country, you can go to the embassy and get your business straight. Yeah. If you're in another country and you have an emergency, they don't have to send the armed forces. All you got to do is just make it to the embassy. And whatever the emergency is, there's help in the embassy. Uh, I need a place that people, no matter where they are, they can find the embassy and find help because I'm in an emergency. I'm sick. I need an emergency. I need the embassy. I'm, need, I'm in depression. I need to get to the embassy. Is, is there anybody understanding what I'm saying? So we don't need to build a church. We need to build an embassy. We are the church. The problem is we've been confusing who we are versus what we, we, we assemble in. <laughs> if I can teach it like I feel it, I can get out of here. We are in somebody's chapel. It is a Christian school, but it's still a chapel. We have church in the chapel. The reason we can have church is because we are the church. Y'all miss what I'm saying. But watch this. We can only have service in here on Sundays. From 
this time to this time. Now, if somebody wants to come on Monday for prayer, they can't come here because we're not here. This is just a place where we assemble. But now the place that we have the keys to, oh, I feel like turning over chairs, is up there. So that means the embassy is still open. You just can't come here. We just happen to meet here. But if you need something, we need you to come to the embassy and get your help. Can I get anybody understand what I'm saying? Now, for all my business owners and all my business people, holler back at you, boy. Make some noise real fast. That's a little weak. Y'all act like y'all want to make no money. Listen, I'm looking for at least six figures this year. I, I need somebody to grab it. I say all my money makers make some noise. Oh, now y'all want to holler. I start calling out commas and things. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There are different types of what they call cones or courses of diplomats. This got good to me, Dad. There are cones, like a cone, cone or courses of diplomats. One is political cones. Those are individuals, diplomats, that are actually supposed to have diplomatic conversations to influence political leaders on behalf of our interests. So some of us are called to be uh, political diplomats. We have influence in government. We don't own the government. We don't run the government. We're just here as ambassadors who happen to be stationed at the embassy. I'm going to teach it and y'all catch it later. In other words, we don't own Fort Mill. We just happen to meet in Fort Mill. But I need to see if I can get about three of y'all that can go in the influence of the political leaders of Fort Mill. That if we ever need favor in Fort Mill, we can just make a phone call. I didn't see if there's anybody realizes sometimes you just need one phone. You just need one person in your contacts. Y'all, y'all not quite. I said you just need one person in your contacts. When you can make one phone call and get your need met, that's a good place to be. I can't hear nobody up in here. I said I can't hear nobody up in here. We need political diplomats. Hey. Now, there's about four other, uh, four other things. I'm just going to deal with a couple because, you know, I'm still studying and I want to sound ignorant out here. That's Atlanta for you thought you were talking right. There's also the consular. That's why they call it consulates. Help me, Lord. The consular or the consulate uh, diplomacy or diplomats are those that are actually supposed to help service people. This is why many of you all have the gift of helps and love to love on people and love to help people. That's because you may be assigned to be a diplomat that helps in the consular area. In other words, people, I told you, when people have emergencies, they know what to come because we already have diplomats that are already working. So I want you to hear me. I want us to get to a place where whenever somebody has any need, we already have a list of resources and know how to point people and know how to help people, not just in the spiritual, but also in the natural. Can I get somebody? If somebody's in a domestic violence situation, they, they do need prayer praise the lord hallelujah but they also need a place to live because once your prayer ends i don't want to go back and get my head beating i can't hear nobody up in here i also need some people that can love me and love me where i am because sometimes when people are in certain situations they don't know how to get out but if you can make it to the embassy and a counselor can get with you and say listen i know how to counsel you out and pull you out and watch this i'm gonna walk with you and make sure that you stay is it making sense to anybody in here we're ambassadors do got a scripture background. And I'm going to give you this. Matthew chapter 28. And y'all know this because we use this when we talk about baptism. Go ye therefore and teach all. Teach all what? Say it loud. Say it loud. Y'all say, like, I hope that's what the Bible say. That's what it say. You can't go into all nations, one, unless you have a nation you're from. You also can't go into all nations unless they give you access. Because some countries, they won't let you in. I told you I watched, you know, how to catch a smuggler. Some, mm -mm, you ain't coming in here. Mm -mm. Why are you walking like that? Mm -mm, you can't come in here. So if we've been given access into different nations, that means we must have an assignment in that nation. I told you all the original purpose of speaking in tongues, the gift of tongues, was your gift of tongue. That dialect was set for the language of the people you're assigned to minister to. We huck a buck in here, and that's all good. We're speaking to God. You know, ro, ro, si, ro, sa, ro, mo. Right. That's, for, that's our personal. But that's, the, that's just tongues. Ro, si, ro, sa. That's just tongues. You can't take ro, si, ro, sa into Brazil if they don't know what that means. 
But now, if we go to Spain or some Spanish-speaking country, we say, como estas, and you ain't never learned Spanish, then that means you may have the gift of tongue that's assigned for Spanish-speaking countries. I'm trying to help us make sense of the gift that God's put on the inside of us that we only use inside the four walls. But we're not only for the four walls, that's just the embassy. There are people outside the four walls that need what we have on the inside of the four walls. We are expecting them to come in here by osmosis, but it's evident that they're not just going to come in. So guess what we got to go do? Go. The first word he said was go. We've been waiting on somebody to say, will you please? No, go. I hope most of us feel the conviction of the Lord because some of us, God's been saying, go. Go to the nursing home. Go to the shelter. Go to work. I done got myself in trouble. All my shouts, all my hallelujah just went away. I don't want to go to work. That's because you don't want to walk out your kingdom assignment that you were sent there for. Are we saved just to be saved? I'm going to ask again, are we saved to be saved? What are we saved to do? You mean to tell me God planted you in a foreign country to do a work, and you just sitting behind a desk talking about, I'm enjoying being saved. I'm working hard to be saved. I'm working hard just to be saved. If I can just be saved. No, you're working hard to stay behind a desk. It's a new. I could dance because I see your face. I'm going to dance for real. Y'all clap again. She made it. She's been out of church for a few months, and we're glad to have her in here. Come on, clap your hands. Glad to see her. I got to go. The word for the week is what? Embassy. All right. Write these four words down quickly as I give you some kingdom uh, perspective, and then I'll finish it on Wednesday. Check us out on Bible study so you can learn something, learn something. Mm -hmm. Whenever you have a kingdom, you must have a king, land, people, a government. You got to have a king. A king is now over a particular region or land. Then if you're going to have land, you're going to have people. But then you can't have people, you don't have no law, because folk will just do whatever they want to do. Somebody, I just only need two of y'all to say amen. Imagine if you didn't have no restrictions on you, you'd be buck wild. All my crazy folk just make noise one time, just like, listen, if there was no restraint, if there was nothing that held you back, listen, half the world be shot up. That's all for my thugs. <laughs> We got to have something that says, I don't hope that holds the reins, as they say. That hold of the reins. I'm old school and new school. That hold of the reins. Uh -huh. And then there's also culture. All right, y'all play me a little. Uh, go back to that saying, it's a new sea. I'll give y'all a good break this week. A new day. I want, open your hands. I've been saying this before, and I, I'm grateful. Where's Jaina at? I saw she went to the, she stepped out. Okay, all right. I want to remind me just to tell her it is so. It is so. I ask you to open your hands because I know some of you all, I've been saying this for the past two years, go get you some land, something with your name on it. Just get something with your name on it. Um, some of you could have houses that are on the land and others of you are going to have people that live in the houses that are on the land. Now put it, let's see. Yeah, Merry Christmas. You can keep the ride going. I'm not going to bother you, Mario. I want you to open your hands because I want you open to whatever God wants to put in your hands in this season. Some of us have been telling ourselves, I'm not qualified for that, or I can't do that, or it's not the season for that, or not me, or, and keep your hands open. Some of y'all cover your ears. I want you to think I'm a violent pastor. I want to shake you. Because you've been sabotaging your greatness because greatness feels uncomfortable. God shows you many gifts and dreams and talents, and you talk your way out of it. 
if your last name was Wood, I'd pop your hand. You grieve the Holy Ghost. If God puts greatness on the inside of you, who are you to tell God he can't do it? Some of you, God wants to drop some new, fresh things in your hands. You just have to open your life up enough to actually embrace it. Am I making sense? Especially when it comes down to ownership. I heard what you said, but I heard you hope you heard what I said. I like your hair. It's real pretty. Learn to stand under pressure. You're a juggernaut. You just haven't realized your full potential. Your strength will zap out. But if you tap into the power of the Holy Ghost on the inside of you, my God in Zion. Put this in the atmosphere. I am great. And great things are coming to my hands. Say it again like you got to tell yourself again. I am great. And great things are coming to my hands. Y'all make me sick. I'm going to say it again. I say, say it again. I am great. And great things are coming to my hands. I say, great things are coming to my hands. That's it, Moses. Go and praise it. Great things are coming to my hands. Great contracts, great opportunities, great people are coming to my hands. My gifts shall make room for me and bring me before great. I said, I am. I am. I am. Oh, God, help me, Holy to me. Greatness is attracted to me. Greatness is attracted to me. Everything I touch is blessed. Everything I touch is prosperous. Everything I touch is favored. It's all on my head. It's all on my... you lift your hands I know I ain't coming back there stretch your hands out because that's safe mm -hmm. allow room for God to exceed your expectations because it is so I said allow room for God to exceed your expectations even if it starts small you got to keep believing that God will exceed your expectations Flip what used to bother you as far as your perfectionism. Flip that to now say, God, I expect you to meet my, exceed my, ex now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all I could ever ask, dream, or expect. I expect him to exceed. Woo, just lift your hands and worship him. It's a new season a new day it's a new season a new it's a it's a new yeah yeah it's a new brace yourself brace yourself set your mind towards ownership Set your mind towards ownership. Watch your confessions. Set your face. Set your mind. Watch your confessions. But set your mind. Set your face. Watch your confessions. 
Don't say you don't make enough, because that's your fault. You can have whatever number you want. You can have whatever number you want. I challenge you to go write down a number that you want to make and go look for it. It's a new season. I feel crazy. I used to worry about time. I ain't worried about time no more. Y'all don't y'all here for. Y'all got the rest of the day. It's a new Moses, do me a favor. Go run to your wife. Run to her. I know you. You'll pay for it tomorrow, but just run for her. Thank you. You've been running the daycare. I want you now to think that you can own a daycare. That way your money can work for you. You've been trained for the past few years. Now, ask them to seed into you so that you wouldn't have to start it by yourself. You can do it. That's why I ask you to open your hands. God has increased your capacity. He's also trying to shift you to where you can focus more on ministry. You can't do that if you're in the office. You need the freedom to allow the office to work for you. Ha! It's a new season. A new. It's a new season. I pray divine strategy on your stats. I pray divine strategy. You would have never thought on it. You were just going to do this for a temporary time. But God says, I was setting you up. I owe you something. I was setting you up. I was setting you up. I was setting you up. I'm going to let you finish your degree. Just so your daughters can watch you do it. Oh, Rabbi, ko ki shete be se. And when you say no, I hear the Lord saying, I'm going to stir something on the inside of you. I'm going to stir something on the inside of you. Because I see you in the future and you look much better than you do right now. I see you in the future. I see you in the future. I see you in the future. Yay! A new. Just wave your hands in this atmosphere. A new day. It's a. I told you I was still talking to you. So I hope you hear your assignment. You're an ambassador, so you're called to do different things. But God will honor your footsteps. God will honor your footsteps. Don't second guess what you're hearing. God will honor your footsteps. It's a new season. Bring me those envelopes. A new day. It's a new Bring me that mic stand. I'm going to go old school. Whoa, oh, Lord, yeah. Thank you, Rabbi. Just, yeah. If you're watching me online, just say something, wave. All my people that's online, wave. Uh, we're starting our building fund, but it's not our building fund. It's our embassy fund. Yes. Yes. It's our embassy fund. Um, I like it here because it's convenient. But I know this is not our ending place. Is there anybody with me? Thank y'all for the people that clap. It makes your pastor feel like he's supported. I said, everybody that's with me, just clap your hands. I, I want, uh, I do have a plan. God gave me a plan. Thank the Lord. God gave me a plan. Uh, God gave me a plan. Lord, thank you, Jesus. God gave me a plan. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave you alone. I, I, God gave me a plan. I do have a strategy. The Lord has given divine strategy uh, for all my practical people. It is concrete, but it's also faith. For my practical people, my micro people that don't do you don't do well. Like it's either black or it's white. 
It can't be like black and white. I can't do well with that. Like, just call me when you finish. We do have a plan, but I also heard the Holy Ghost say, stay open. So I'm going to stick to the plan, but I'm also got my eyes open. Y'all get what I'm saying? So now, uh, we're going to need to raise a certain amount of money in a short amount of time. I got three months. By June 1st, I need to be somewhere. Thank you, Kai. By June 1st. Now, we may walk in June 1st and may have to set up a whole bunch of stuff and may have to watch everything build and, you know, everything go. But at least it'll have our name on it. Um, I've asked the finance team to prepare a presentation for you while we'll show uh, next week. Uh, so you can kind of know where we are now financially, where we need to be financially. Um, uh, for all my practical people, if the numbers say this, this is what we have, that's all we got. Now, I don't know what you're talking about, but this is what I see. Uh, for all the faith people, like, yeah, I see that, but I know God will come through. I need everybody. I need everybody. Um, I want you only if you feel led. Um, I need all members uh, that are here uh, and those that are online and you're watching us. I want you to... Uh, um, uh, you will grab an envelope. Uh, I want you to, uh, if you don't mind, uh, you know, put your name on it and what is going to be your seed offering for the embassy fund. Uh, some will be called to give different things. Um, uh, uh, my family will be giving 5000 to 10000 We don't know. We'll just see what happens. But I'm not giving less than five. Uh, others will be called to give one. Some will be called to give two or three thousand. Some will be called to give about five hundred. But I want you challenging yourself uh, to have sweat. We're gonna have sweat equity, but we also have investment in it uh, and partnership in it. Does that, that make any sense, everybody? Uh, we're also looking for partnerships. Um, I believe that we'll have a partner that will be able to pay half of our, our lease or half of our mortgage. I hope you heard what I said. Now, in a sense, your role is to cover what I say, because when I put something in the atmosphere, once again, when you declare something, the enemy wants to see how fragile is your declaration. We paid, if I told y'all what we paid for the space we have up there, compared to what market rate is, you'd be like, that's crazy. And we do it because we have a partnership with another organization that helps to cut our cost. I'm trying to talk to y'all, but y'all don't understand you know, what I'm trying to say. Wouldn't it be great? Everybody that got, you know, roommates and stuff. Now, hold on, hold on. Don't get no pass. What's that? What kind of cars, though? No, 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 not yet. Not yet. Because I want to put some oil on it. I want to bless it. Yes, yeah, it's saturated. Mm. That's it. If you got one, don't drop it. Don't take them back. Just keep just, 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 No, no, don't take them back. Just leave, let them have it. I'll put some oil on it. Not oil. <laughs> Somebody gave Victor five. Put some oil on him. Uh, if you're with me, only if you want to be a part of this and you're going to commit to it, I want you to come and get an envelope. Stand here for me.
Where's my wife? It's a new. See, she can't hear nothing. A new day. It's a new season. Hey, Dad. Don't forget about Mama B. You will be in trouble. Is that everyone? Thank you. What I want you to do is, uh, when you feel uh, led and you feel that God has given you a number, uh, I want you to uh, write your name, the number, and the date that you're going to turn it in. I want you to hear me. I'm saying everything intentionally because it's all a part of the plan. I've seen what God does when people honor what they declare. I've also seen the enemy test people when they declare a thing. And once again, remember the trick from the garden is, did God say? And that's not what he really meant. So when you write it down, write the vision, make it plain upon the table that they may see it and run with it. You're pretty much saying, I'm not moving from this. I believe, oh God, that for many of us, it's going to be a seed that opens some things for us. Because as we're sowing into this house, God's making some stuff happen for your house. Is that making any sense to me? Uh, there are going to be other ministries that while we're doing our building fund, we're going to sow into. Because we want to sow, because that's how you get more seed. I said the way you get more seed is by sowing more. Am I making sense to anyone? Uh, and we're going to see things in the spirit. We're going to see things spiritually. Um, so when you have that, if you want to turn that number in, if you want to do it now, you can. If you want to do it by, uh, by Wednesday next week. But I want to see the envelopes turned in. That way we can know what exactly we're looking at. Does that make any sense? Uh, how many do your budget for your home? How many do your budgets? Raise your hand. You look at concrete numbers, right? You can't make up no numbers. This is what it is, right? Well, for the church, it's very difficult for us because we don't know what it's variable cost. Thank you. All right, so now that's why I'm asking you to write it down, okay? So if you have that, if you want to do that now, you can. If you want to wait, you can. Um, but don't wait too long. We need, we need to know so we kind of know what we're going for. I know the number um, between thirty and 50000 in three months. I want to exceed that. I'm just putting it as like a low bar. But I want to exceed that. How many believe that we can exceed that? I said, how many believe that we can exceed that? I, I don't have any gimmick. Y'all know me. I don't even like talking about money. Y'all know me. I don't like talking about money. I like making money. I don't like talking about money. Uh, so I don't have any gimmicks. I don't have any schemes. I'm not asking y'all to buy any blessed oil and God's going. I'm not doing that. I, I've been, I've been, yeah, prayer cloth. I think I bought one Bible and got hustled. It just, it just all kind of craziness. But I do believe in faith and I do believe that there's a power in sowing seed. I can show you scripture after scripture that when people sow seed, God honors the seed that they sow. Can I get somebody to say amen? All right, so now, um, when you have that written down, I want to ask Elder Kid to stand here. You can turn that envelope in. Um, um, is that right, Dominique? You going to turn yours in? Yeah, no, you're not, and I made him move as soon as you did that, didn't I? I ain't going to be trifling. I love it. Don't do that. You gonna get, I ain't going to do it. I said I wasn't going to say nothing. All right, if you want to do that now, let's also sow our offering and seed for today. Come on, let's do that, all right? So you're going to bring your envelope to turn that in, and you already know your number. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. And also, you're sowing your seed if you're giving via cash app. Uh, yeah. Matter of fact, let him hold it. He ain't been doing it in our service. No, no, no. You're going to hold it. Look like you belong to somebody. He's 13 now, y'all. Y'all pray for him. Pray for me. Lord, that means somebody getting old. All right. Good. Let's go and give now. It's a new It's a new If you're giving those envelopes or you have that number, you can turn it in now. If you're giving via cash app, you can. It's a new season. It's a new season. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah. It's a new day. It's a new season. A new day. It's a new season. A new day. A new season. Is that everyone? If you need 
more time, just wave your hands. Need more time. A new Do our announcements at the same time. Uh, my father, Lewis Wood, his birthday is Friday. Clap your hands for him. He's watching on live. I think he and Methuselah are neck and neck. Um, so he's not here to get defend himself. So he'll get me later on. I, I know he does. He does know where I live. I love him dearly. I love my wife. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> if you're okay, you don't. <laughs> I love my dad dearly. Happy birthday, dad. Um, we celebrate Shauna's birthday with this past Friday. Y'all make some noise for her. Amen. Where Bob at? We said, hey, Bob's birthday was last week. It's happy birthday to Bob on Wednesday. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, pillow talk. Make some noise, ladies. Pillow talk because it's Friday. Make sure you register uh, from 7 to 9. Uh, it's uh, this Friday, March 12th. Make, make sure you register on the website. We're pointing everyone to the website. Also, uh, please join us this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're reading through the New Testament. We've already gone through Mark and John. And we're now in Luke. Come on, y'all. We're reading through the Bible. Good, good. And on this Wednesday, I am excited. We're opening up our Bible studies again. So you can come to Bible study. It will be in our embassy suite. Uh, that's a hotel. I thought that was funny. Thank y'all so much for laughing. My jokes are great. Uh, it, it's <laughs> at 6.45 on Wednesday. But up, up. All right, great. Uh, good deal. I do need, um, I do need, clap your hands for our men, please. Clap your hands for our men. I said clap your hands for our men. Thank y'all so much to all the men that have been working and all the ladies that do so celebrate each other. I want to celebrate the men on today. Uh, and also, guys, I need you to help me. We're going to uh, put, the, put the church back. But I also need you to go with me. We're going to actually, uh, the barbershop that we normally uh, frequent has asked us to come and pray over the barbershop. So I need all the men, all men that are available to go with me at 2 p.m. to go pray over the barbershop. Uh, we're going to do that. All right. Ain't that good? They want you, us to come and pray. Come on in here. All right. Yeah, that's today. That's today. So we have to, I know, like, oh, my God, I got to go eat. Well, go grab your little sandwich from Bo Yangalus, and then we'll go over and, um, and go from there. All right. All hearts and minds are clear. Let us stand. We're going to bless y'all and bless the offering at the same time and get out of this place. Clap your hands for the musicians. Thank y'all so much, y'all. I gave y'all a break this week. I know he look like retired, Reverend. <laughs> he said, if I keep playing these same two notes, <laughs> he gonna get me later on. Good deal. All right. Now may the grace and sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest from abide with you now henceforth and forever. Watch this. God's gonna bless you this week. There's some open doors that's happening for you this week. I want you to receive it. I want you to open your mind for God to drop into your hands great things great opportunities just look for them I even bless the seed that you're sowing this week seeds our offerings our tithes our offerings I bless that that every seed you sow God doubles and multiplies and triples and returns that seed back to you if you sow ten dollars God will return to you a hundred I can't hear nobody up in here if you sow a thousand that God will give you ten thousand that God's going to blow your mind, exceed your expectations in every area of your life. There may be opposition, but if God's got a blessing on it, the opposition can't stop you. In Jesus' name, amen. Go in the peace and the blessings of the Lord. Clap your hands, everybody. God bless you. We love you. <laughs> Since the musicians stop, can we get... Um, and they, they tired. Can we get, uh, do we have any music we can play through the, uh, what's name? Hey, friend. How you doing?